There's trouble brewing down at the Bundy Ranch, but it's not between Bundy and the government. It's between the different cells, the different factions of the militia members. Now, uh, this has sort of been developing over the course of a week or two. That is hilarious. That is You'll hilarious. You'll see it in a second. Don't worry. <laughs> this has been brewing for a little while now, and uh, it actually sort of came to a boil over the issue of possible violence from the government at the militia members. And so here's some information that we got from the Oath Keepers, which is one of the major factions uh, that's active at the Bunny Ranch right now. They said, the info we received stated that Eric Holder of the Department of Justice had okayed a drone strike on the Bundy Ranch near Bunkerville, Nevada, within a 48-hour period. That, unfor uh, that fortunately turned out to be disinfo, a false rumor. And though it came from a trusted source, Oath Keepers could neither prove nor disprove it. Though the info was unbelievable, in the present climate generated by the BLM, that's the Bureau of Land Management, and Senator Harry Reid, who called the ranchers and their friends domestic terrorists, Oath Keepers decided that the info must be regarded as indicating that a drone attack was at least possible. Now, at the time, before it had been disproven, some of the militia members, the non-Oath Keepers, were... I guess justifiably worried that they were going to be killed from above <laughs> by their government. And so they decided to back off from the Bundy Ranch at that point. And then once it was revealed that they were not going to die, they decided to come back. And that's where the conflict begins. Let's watch this little clip. And these are things that we live by throughout our entire lives. And that is, you do not ever leave a man behind on the battlefield. You do not ever turn tail and run in the face of danger. You do not ever leave a fallen comrade to fall into the hands of the enemy. And you drive on towards the objective, even if you're the last man standing. This is desertion that was done. This is dereliction of duty that was done. Okay? And that is my opinion, and I believe that's reinforced by most of the people here. Can so we the vote notion that we believe that then? Let's let's put that up to a quick vote. Is is that agreed? This was desertion? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Okay, and if they come here to volunteer to fall under that platform and those objectives, then they volunteer to fall under that leadership. And if they obey outside leadership, that's called being a traitor. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Okay, so... Okay. I have a feeling his wife is not allowed to work. <laughs> <laughs> he likes a lot of direct control what over was those he How did that vote? Was it 12 to 3? <laughs> seems like we've all the three. Yeah, <laughs> but it, 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 you, you, I like the democracy in action, though. But I, I'm guessing that guy's wife is working because uh, where's his job? Don't these guys have jobs? <laughs> I guess during the day he's out there hanging out. Who's paying the bills? And right. How, how does that? I bet his wife is working. Right. It has to be. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to work. Not a bad point. Well, they, they don't spend a lot on money. clothes, obviously, yeah. or education. Right. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. They're saving money. They don't right. have those college bills hanging over their head. <laughs> right. We, we can assume. We don't. We don't know. I guess. We are but playing. All that I, uh, money they spend on gun cleaning fluid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so that was pretty funny. I love what the, what the guy was saying. Like, I have to imagine that that him and probably some of the others around him probably vets, they've probably served maybe in the military, but everything that he was saying there about what you do or don't do with your comrades is worse than a TV or TV movie <laughs> yes. stereotype. You don't retreat in the face of danger. I have a feeling sometimes in the military you do retreat when you're about to be wiped out. You don't just, oh, well, no, the code says I gotta stay here, so I'm gonna stay here. That's not how it works. Yeah. He would not have ever made it in the leadership of the military. Well, I, I don't think those guys are real military. I think if they were real military, what, you swear an oath to the Constitution, which is a federal document. Mm -hmm. The whole point of Clive and Bundy is he doesn't recognize the federal government. Yeah. Yes, he still does. He still drives around with the fucking USA flag because he's right. a genius, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, it's like, I don't believe in this shit. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> there, but there is actual, actually the possibility of violence, which you'll see in this next clip. Let's see. I have agreed under the direction of Buddha that he would agree to a meeting. Jerry, do you agree to a meeting? <coughs> if you guys are in favor I, I want, a, I want yeah. an apology and I want to know why he did what he did so I don't keep blasting him on Facebook until Where's I know the that he agrees. Where's the trust factor? But be, but be clear. There is be, a trust factor. Be clear. To be, a, to be the better gentleman that we are, right. yeah. it's appropriate to sit down and listen. We to are open to gentlemanly agreement. conversation. But this man and, and the people that obeyed that order have violated my personal creed. Yeah, absolutely. You don't fucking yeah. walk in and say I'm sorry and you're back in, brother. You can walk in and say you're sorry and 
you're lucky that you're not getting shot in the back yeah. because that's what happens to deserters on the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, brother. Amen. What happens? Well, that, that is what happened in Russia during World War I and II. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling he would not agree that he would want to follow that political system. But I don't think, again, that's what we do in the military. Uh, we do sometimes shoot our soldiers. It's a tragedy that happens all too often, but it's not because of desertion. It's right. because of a lack of communication. I like how he would brag, we're going to shoot you in the back. Like, we're going <laughs> to do something cowardly to show you that cowardly things are bad. Yeah. And so th these guys are the same ones we talked about last week who are setting up these checkpoints to ask people if they belong, you know, if they can drive down the, the road and stuff like that. Of course, they have no legal authority to do that. They don't recognize the legal authorities in that area. And the congressman who represents that area has asked the state and local uh, authorities to have them removed which could lead us again to a confrontation that we might not be ready for.